Hey YouTube, welcome aboard. This week's video is a narrated video showing an instant approach into Fredericksburg, Texas. Here's a route of flight from West Houston Airport over to Fredericksburg. We're just south of Austin. We're at 10,000 feet. And you can see that the uh, weather was overcast. In the hill country of Central Texas, it was IFR to occasionally marginal VFR, but generally IFR with a ceiling around uh, seven, 800 feet and multiple layers with the tops up to 6,000 feet. We're zipping a lot of right along here at 175 knots. We've got about a five knot tailwind. Here's the flight plan on the, uh, or the route on the GPS. We were given a shortcut by Houston Center. Beautiful up on top here indicating about 146 knots at 10,000 feet. It's a southerly flow. Today we're about a day before a front comes through. So let's join the descent now. We're going to shoot the RNAV approach into Fredericksburg. You can see the uh, upper layers. There's actually three layers. The upper layer there, which was like around 8,000 feet, and there's a middle layer that we're gonna descend down through here shortly. So ATC gives us uh, direct to Yuseti, which is the initial approach fix, and uh, descend down to 6,000 feet, and here, or 4,000 feet, sorry, here's the approach. The holding pattern can be flown between four and six, and we were given four. So here is the uh, lower layer, very ragged, variable. So now we're about, I think we're about 20, well, we're uh, 17 and a half nautical miles from Yuseti. Here it is on four flight. So we're gonna go to Yuseti and then do a teardrop approach or teardrop reversal. The uh, METAR at this time was overcast at 700 feet, but really good visibility. So here we are descending down, just coming down through 5,200 feet. We're now about seven miles. At this point, we're uh, getting ready to level off at 4,000 feet. And again, we've been cleared for the approach. So now we're crossing Useti, which again is the initial approach fix, level at 4,000 just using the heading bug on the autopilot because I have a fairly elderly autopilot that's pretty simplistic. Here's the teardrop reversal. I titled this video Sloppy Approach into Fredericksburg because I kind of misjudged the turn here but managed to save it. And part of the reason is I'm a bit fast. You can see I'm indicating 128 knots. I really like to go just about blue line plus 10 knots when I'm maneuvering in the terminal area for an approach. So we're getting out to the point where we're going to start our turn to the right. I didn't go quite far enough out. So now we're in the turn, still at 4,000 feet. And I'm still going pretty fast. I think I'm doing, well, you can see the ground speed's 156 knots, so the wind, the southeasterly flow isn't helping. And you can see the CDI is starting to come in, so I'm just increasing the roll rate on the autopilot. Should turn at standard rate. See the lower layer below. And I'm still not really with it. I really should have slowed down a bit more. But I managed to salvage it, so I'm getting ready uh, to turn the heading back bug back over a bit to get me back on course. And I'm going to hit the nav switch on the autopilot to recapture the inbound course. You can see we're starting to slow down now. We're doing 120. I'd really like to be about 110 knots. So now we're uh, inbound. 
to Yuseti, still at 4,000 feet. We're pulling 17 inches of manifold pressure, which is uh, earlier, I think I had it at 18, and believe it or not, that one inch was enough to give me an extra 10 or 15 knots. So pitch plus power equal performance. You should always know your settings. So let's fast forward. We're approaching the final approach fix, now coming down to 3,000 feet. This is where we'll drop the gear and flaps. Still at 17 inches. If you drop the gear in flaps, you can stay at 17 inches and that should give you about a 500 foot per minute descent. So we're about a mile and a half. Getting the hand ready on the gear knob. And as we cross the fix, we'll put gear down and flaps 15. And the autopilot's still flying. You'll see the trim well start to roll nose down one two and three green gears down locked again still 17 inches i'm not touching anything the throttles are just where they are and the autopilot now is taking us downhill still in the soup at this point we can go down to 365 feet above the ground surface which is 2060 feet msl you can see though it's dark below us. You can start to see the ground at this point. We break out at about 700 overcast, which was spot on with what the uh, METAR was. So that's really it. At this point, I'm gonna stop talking and just let you enjoy the landing. Thanks for watching.